So we chatted about what white rum is in the previous video. In this video, what is gold rum? Now let's be brutally honest. Gold rum, again, is another marketing term because if you called it brown rum, you're never gonna sell it, are you? So, you know, what's the next best color up from gold, from brown? It's gold, isn't it? It's pretty obvious, pretty simple. So gold rum, again, we shouldn't really be referring to it as gold rum. It should be kind of like aged rum or, you know, just however you want to refer it to. But gold rum is kind of like a, an old school term. But again, until there's tons and tons of education around it, until brands themselves come out and kind of go against this whole gold rum vibe down here and on some of these bowls, we are naturally going to refer to them as gold rum. So to get it's kind of so you've got a loose idea of what gold rums are. Because let's be brutally honest, 75% of my back bar are gold rums. The other 25%, and that's probably a little bit out, but the other 25% are white rums. You know, you, you only get really two... Well, actually, that's a lie. You get three colours. Gold, white, black, dark, whatever you want to call them. So, so you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. Is, so, but how, how can we really identify what a gold rum is if it says gold rum on the label? Gold rum to me typically refers to unaged rum. And by unaged, again, this is where it gets slightly sort of technical. By unaged, you never really see a rum with an age statement of less than three years. No rum really ever puts two-year-olds on the barrel, on the bottle. They just don't do it. The, the closest we see, the lowest number we see typically is a three-year-old. And even at three-year-old, if you think Havana, if you think El Dorado, if you think Dawleys, you know, they are, they are white rums. They're three-year-old white rums. So even at then, even at the lowest echelons of aged gold rums, we're probably talking more like a five-year-old. Okay, so from an age point of view, an age statement point of view, to take something from a gold rum to a specific aged rum, you're talking five years. Now, these rums have not spent five years in a, in a barrel. You know, most of these haven't spent a year in a barrel, but they've obviously taken on that colour because as soon as they go in the, into a barrel, even for like two or three months, they are going to take on colour. Hence why you see stuff like this has obviously been filtered because three years in a barrel ain't going to come out like that, is it? It's, of course it isn't. So they're going to be filtered. So gold rums essentially are, from my per point of view and how I classify them, is anything that's been aged up to roughly two years, two and a half years, maybe three years, you know, we're talking that's what gold rums are. Anything that you wouldn't, a brand wouldn't put an age statement on because if they sold it as a two-year-old rum, they're never going to sell it, are they? they? They call it gold rum. So again, it comes back to this thing, it is marketing. So when you're next scrolling through Master of Malt, if you're in the UK or the Whiskey Exchange or going to your local supermarket or, or wherever you are around the world, into your bottle stores in the US and Australia and all that in Canada, wherever you buy your rum from, if it's gold in colour and hasn't got a number on the front, then the generic term for that is gold rum. But, and I still, I'm sitting here, I'm standing here thinking, I have still, I genuinely haven't seen a gold three or four year old. The, I think the youngest with an actual physical number on the front is five. I genuinely can't think of anything unless I'm being Bacardi, four, Quattro has got a, I've just seen it out the corner of my eye. Bacardi's got um, a four, a four year old uh, as a gold rum. But typically speaking, we are talking five years. So anything in that under five years old that brands, for some unknown reason, don't feel that they can put an age statement to it, or whether it's been blended with younger rum, so you might have a five-year-old rum in there, but actually it might be sort of bolstered up by a one-year-old, then they're just going to call it a gold rum. That's all it is. Think of it as a, as a colour. Do not think of it as a descriptor of taste because you know, as well as I do, that that from Jamaica is going to taste flipping different uh, to that, even still in Jamaica, you know, the, the, the funk, the esters, whatever in that, and then nothing compared to Hamden, is completely different to that. I did want Mount Gay Eclipse in here. I can't find my bottle of Mount Gay Eclipse, but pretend, pretend for one minute that's Mount Gay Eclipse. You know, those two, that's going to taste completely different for that. That's going to taste completely different to that, which is Mount Gay Eclipse. And then they're going to taste completely and utterly different to the British scratch rums. There is no taste descriptor for gold rums 
only loosely a color and age. Now, if you want a yet another exciting factual knowledge bomb about rum, dive into that video right there.